Fish oil is a waste of time, a waste of money. For most people, it's useless, and you should probably just throw it in the garbage. Now, how can this be true? Because your brain is about 60% fat, and most of that fat is one specific kind of omega-3, DHA. If you're deficient in DHA, your brain cell membranes literally harden. When that happens, your short-term and working memory suffer. You can't think on your feet. Your reaction time slows down. And verbal fluidity just disappears. And you find yourself rereading sentences over and over, and you can't remember where you left the remote or your keys. Now, this isn't just getting older. It's a physical signal that your brain is starving for that one nutrient it needs to function. So if you want to understand why most fish oil is junk and how it actually fixes this, stick with me. But before I do that, please, if you find this information about fixing your brain naturally and valuable, please subscribe to this channel. Hit save later if you don't have time to watch the video right now and hit that like button, which helps YouTube to show this channel more often. And click the bell to be notified when my next video goes live. I also do private consultations. So if you need personal help, dealing with your own brain health issues, you'll find a link to my calendar below this video. Now stay with me for a few minutes and let's talk about DHA. What happens when you switch your omega-3 to DHA, how much to take, and which brand works the best. Let's get started. To understand what's happening, we need to get one of the biggest nutritional myths out of our heads. The idea that all fat is bad. In fact, when it comes to your brain, fat is everything. Your brain is the fattiest organ in your body. And if you take out all the water, the solid dry weight of your brain is nearly 60% fat. This isn't the same as body fat. This is a structural fat. It's the architectural foundation of your mind. Now think of it like this. You can't build a sturdy house with sand and cheap plaster. You need high quality steel and reinforced concrete or high quality pressure treated wood. In the same way, you cannot build and maintain a high performance brain with low quality fats or a deficiency of the right kind of fat. Every thought, every memory relies on billions of brain cells including neurons, communicating with each other at lightning speed. And what allows these signals to flow so freely? The health of your brain cell membranes, the outer two layers of each brain cell. Now here's the thing. These membranes are made of almost entirely of fat. Their job is to be fluid and flexible, allowing signals to th pass through seamlessly. Now when they're built with high quality fats, your thinking is sharp and your memory is reliable. But when you don't consume enough of these critical fats, your body has to build these vital cell membranes with inferior rigid fats. The membranes harden. Communication between neurons slows down. It's like trying to have a conversation through a thick soundproof wall. This is the biological reality of slow thinking. So what is this one essential fat that your brain is so desperate for? It's a specific type of omega-3 fatty acid called DHA. Now this is where we solve the fish oil paradox. You've heard of omega-3s, but they often get lumped together as if they're all the same, and they're not. Your brain is highly selective. There are three main types, ALA from plants like flax, EPA also in fish, and DHA, the undisputed leader in brain health. The reason most fish oils are useless for your brain is that they're low in DHA, high in the less critical EPA, or it's simply poor quality, or it's gone rancid. Your brain doesn't just like DHA, it requires it. DHA is the most abundant omega-3 in your brain, making up over 90% of the omega-3s found there. It is a primary structured component of your cerebral cortex, which is the part of your brain that's responsible for memory, language, and attention. And when we say your brain is starving, we mean it's starving for DHA. Now let's use an analogy. Imagine that your brain is a massive, complex electrical grid. The neurons and axons are the wires and the synapses are the connections. DHA is the high-grade flexible superconductive coating on every single one of those wires. When you have plenty of DHA, the membranes of your neurons are fluid and pliable and signals fire rapidly. This allows your neurons to form new connections, which is the physical basis of learning and memory. This is called synaptic plasticity, and DHA is a master regulator and component of it. Now imagine what happens when you're deficient. Your body has to patch up those brain cells with other less suitable fats, like omega-6s, that are everywhere in our modern diet. These fats create a cell membrane that is stiff and rigid. It's like the electrical grid is suddenly coated in thick, hardened coating. This is what leads to that feeling of mental sluggishness. 
Your brain isn't just broken, it's the communication network that's simply clogged up. And the science backs this up. Research shows the higher levels of DHA are linked to larger brain volumes, particularly in the hippocampus, which I call your brain's memory librarian. One study with healthy middle-aged adults found that those with higher DHA levels had better abstract reasoning in larger hippocampal volumes, suggesting their brains were healthier and higher functioning. DHA also has a powerful anti-inflammatory properties. It acts like a cleanup crew, reducing harmful inflammation. That is a major cause of cognitive decline. So, how do you stop starving your brain and start feeding it the DHA that it craves? The solution is pretty straightforward. First, the most powerful sources of DHA are fatty cold water fish. Now think of fish like salmon. A six ounce serving of wild Atlantic salmon gives you around 1.4 grams of DHA. Mackerel, 1.6 grams of DHA. And sardines, a three ounce can contains over a half a gram of DHA. Aiming for at least three servings of fatty fish a week is a good start. But if you can't eat fish or if you don't eat fish, you can get your omega-3s from flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. These contain the precursor omega-3 called ALA. The problem is your body's process for converting ALA into the DHA your brain needs is extremely inefficient. Only a tiny fraction gets converted. Relying on them alone is not an effective strategy for brain health. And this is why vegans and vegetarians are often deficient in DHA. And this is where supplementation comes in. To avoid useless fish oil, look for a high quality DHA supplement made either from highly distilled fish oil or from marine algae, which is where fish get their omega-3s. When it comes to dosage, for the real cognitive improvement, research says that we need 1,000 milligrams of DHA every day. It may take two to three months or more to see the benefits that your body slowly rebuilds the fatty layers of your brain cells. To sum it all up, that feeling of slow thinking, brain fog, or trouble with focus, it's often a physical problem, not a personal failing. If you don't eat fish three times a week, you're deficient in DHA. I use and recommend Performance Lab Omega-3 because it contains life's omega algae oil, which supplies natural triglyceride omega-3s that are 70% more bioavailable than synthetic ethyl esters used in cheaper and lower quality omega-3 fish oil supplements. Performance Lab Omega-3, unlike other Omega-3s, contains double the DHA compared to EPA. And because it is so bioavailable, your brain will get the DHA it needs quicker and at a slightly lower dose. You'll find a link to Performance Lab Omega-3 below this video if you'd like to try it. If you found this information valuable and want to learn more about optimizing your brain, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And share this video with a friend and join our membership for members only Q&A live streams and video. I also do consultations one-on-one -on -one if you need help choosing the right supplements for you. And get a, a copy of my book, Head First, the second edition, which is 962 page manual for your brain. The link is below. And thank you for watching. I'm David Toman, and I'll see you again soon.